flat rings or round rings, which are better? Hey, I'm Sebastian, and I get asked these questions a lot from you guys. So, does flat rings or round rings, do they provide any advantages regarding strengths? Or which of them have been used in which period? I'll try to cover all of that as far as I can in this video. So, what are the differences between the two? If you look at the manufacturing process of them, or what we think of how they could have been produced, all it needs to turn a round ring, because the wire is round, all it needs to turn that into a flat ring is a few more strikes by hammer, and then you flatten the entire ring, not just the overlapping area. And that creates a flat ring. But flat ring is not flat ring, so it depends how far you flatten the ring. And then you'd have to look at how flat is that now compared to the round cross section of the wire that it had before. So in regards to that, the uh, rings we see nowadays that uh, reenactors buy from merchants, they're actually very flat and, and if you only have the choice between that and round rings, then you miss a bit of the spectrum because in the historical finds there are also rings between that are like partially flattened or you could even say oh well so but still you guys want to know what uh, can you buy what what will be appropriate for your reenactment say you want to reenact the viking area or the crusades and then you want to know as a flat ring or round ring that have been used in those times and the honest answer to that is i don't know there might be some people who say they know, but it, uh, it is uh, difficult to tell. For that you would need chainmail that is accurately dated, which is tricky. Many finds, they have been altered throughout history, or they were found without context, and iron is kind of hard to date, so that's really tricky. We need quite a lot of finds from let's say the same area because that phenomenon could be something local and then make a proper statistic perhaps we'll do that in time but until we have the statistic I don't dare to say it's flat rings in this period and round rings in that period so I'm a bit uh, hesitating there regardless of that um, flat rings and round rings have certain benefits or disadvantages. So let's start with round rings, which seem to be the more natural for me, for it's closer to the round cross section of the wire, like the product you presumably start with when you make chainmail. And uh, round rings, because they are round, they bring a lot of benefits. One of the benefits is all this round oh <laughs> one of the benefits is that all the cross section is round and this means other rings they can rub on this area and they can rub off rust that is creating and uh, that makes them in my eyes appear and from my experience appear better to prevent rust Another thing is, if you look at the cross section of a round ring and then you, you know that chainmail can be weakened by cracks on the surface or like rust that rusted a bit into the surface, in the round cross section there will always be maximum distance from the core, so if a crack is appearing making it from the outside in, it, it takes longer to reach that core and that just makes the ring stronger. If the ring would be flat, the whatever there is on the surface, whatever weakness there is on the surface, it's very close to the core and then that ring could actually crack there and, or be tear, torn open. So round rings are better for that. And if you look at it on even on round rings, this part of the ring is flat and this is of course the overlap where the rivet is. And if you have experience with mail that has been worn a lot of times, you see in this overlap 
that the other rings can touch just touch this area less often and that there is rust building up on this partially flat surface predominantly there rust will stay and will not be rubbed off okay so that's one thing and hence you could say uh, round rings are stronger and prevent rust better but then what can flat rings do with flat rings it's like this they they look more dense for the same say same wire that has been used for the chainmail so same weight but it looks more dense and then it also means that the gaps in the mail are smaller so that might help a little bit to prevent sharp objects penetrating through the mail but as I said before it might not be stronger um, regarding cracks but there might be another thing that could make flat rings stronger and this is the rivet connection so in a riveted chainmail you always want to avoid to have this weak point on the rivet connection and if you do it well you can prevent that this is the weakest point of your ring but say if you do it not exactly well or um, your ring gets deformed by some impact by some arrow pointing in or like a sword tip and then this ring gets deformed and it can happen that the uh, rivet is is torn while the ring is deformed and then this whole overlap turns and acts, the overlap acts like an, a lever and thus creates a little opening and the rivet can just be really torn apart and to prevent that flat rings are actually quite good because it seems to be more rigid and it, it seems to pretend exactly that from happening so that is um, a point for the flat rings but let's be honest summing it up it is not uh, the case that any of the two are like much better than the other and it remains a choice of taste so that said when you look at historic rings you see a lot partially flattened rings it really seems to be to give you the best of both worlds apparently again personal opinion I'm actually a fan of round rings I'd be happy to know what you prefer and have you seen any historic examples look into the comments below there's hopefully some debate going on maybe you're so somebody who knows about flat rings or round rings having been used in, in, in certain periods predominantly uh, then let me know that's certainly a topic I can learn from you and uh, thank you for <laughs> taking part in this let's talk about chainmail now if you're actually here because you're looking for sources to buy rings from riveted rings I've created this little tool it's a chainmail search engine so to speak it's just a, a list or a form we can enter uh, you want to have specific ring size say 8 millimeter and you want to have them with round rivets and flat rings and there's a list of merchants where you can get them from so check it out on my website ironskin slash chainmail search before you go I wanted to show you something we're already 850 people on this channel 850 chainmail enthusiasts now of course chainmail is not for everyone so only subscribe if you're into that um, but to visualize it 850 is also the amount of rings in in this sheet here so that's exactly 850 it doesn't look like much but it, it adds up and it's awesome that you guys follow along and I thought about the idea of just making this sheet grow as the amount of followers grows so we'll see where this will lead us if I can actually keep up with the rings and I hope to read your comments and see you next time